YouTube family. This is Take 5 with Nanette and we're here to spend just a few, um, few moments to um, hopefully glean a nugget of information that changes our perspective and helps us learn to think for a change. Um, I entitled this morning's Take 5 Heart Safe. Um, this is kind of a journey that the Lord's been taking me through in the last week that has to do with um, having an open heart or a hearing heart to what the Lord is saying. Um, in order for us to really feel safe, you have to hear from the Lord. You have to know who you are, and you have to be in communication with your Heavenly Father. And, um, you know, that one of the biggest things that Solomon asked for that pleased the Lord was for wisdom. Well, in order for Solomon to have that wisdom, he had to have an open heart, um, to hearing from the Lord so that he could um, ha make those decisions based on wisdom from the Lord. And, you know, the Lord, for most of the, most of the time in my life, the Lord has not um, spoken to me audibly. The Lord has not, uh, you know, proclaim from the rooftops loud, loudly um, information, what I'm supposed to do, what's coming. But what he does do is speak quietly to my heart when I'm willing to be still and know that he's God, when I'm willing to open my heart to communication with him. And, you know, so that's one of the cries of my heart on a consistent basis is to, Lord, give me an open heart to what you're saying to me. Help me to be a hearer of your word. So, and not, and, and, but not just a hearer, but then uh, the courage to do whatever it is that you're showing me to do. And um, that is what Solomon asked for and what he lived in. And it very much pleased the Lord because it had to do with walking in tandem, walking um, together with the Lord in what he was doing. And so, you know, this morning as I was pondering that, I was just like, Lord, that needs to be my cry all the time. It's like, give me an open heart to hearing your word. Um, give and not a closed heart, not a heart that's hard, that literally God speaks and I don't hear it um, because I'm listening to everything else and I've tuned him out. I'm not tuned in. You know, we talked about um, tuning in to what are you tuned into a couple take fives ago and the most important thing for us to be is tuned in to what he's saying. That's why I love to get up in the morning and the very th first thing I want to do and the very last thing I want to do in the evening is listen to his word. Um, have his word running through my mind because it tunes me in and gives me uh, so that I start the day with an open heart to hearing the word. How's your heart this morning? Is it open to hearing the word of the Lord? Or have you totally closed your heart off to hearing anything from Him? Um, ask Him to give you an open heart today to hear His word. And practice by just going and reading. My favorite thing to do or to um, help young women do initially is just what's the day of the month um okay go and read through that proverbs and ask the lord to speak to you through those proverbs and see what he says thanks for listening see you next time